Flyweight bout here. This one was also rescheduled. Uh, it was supposed to happen back in February, and we're getting it here in May. So, G on Kim coming in at minus 180. Mandy Baum coming in at plus 180. Battle of the T-shirts over under two and a half rounds. Minus 325 for the over. Plus 325 for the under. One and four in her last five for G on Kim. It's been a bit of a rough stretch for her. Coming in here against Mandy Bohm, who I don't think has won a single round in the UFC, if I'm not mistaken. So right. two. Yeah, 0 2. She had a, a ton of cancel bouts. Kind of same with Gion Kim. So both girls that like just can't seem to get a break uh, as far as the wins and losses go and as far as the cancel bouts go. So this is real high level women's MMA flyweights. Uh, I'm going to just go with G on Kim and close my eyes, but man, I'm, this is literally women's MMA and, uh, who the fuck knows? I mean, Mandy Bohm, they're, they're very similar on the feet. I'd say G on Kim is, has a little bit more, uh, volume. Mandy Bohm is a little bit more, mixes it up a little more with like the kicks and tries to use her length a little bit, but neither chick really, uh, you know, gives me any confidence betting in her. So maybe you just take the dog and close your eyes. But for the sake of the show, I'm going to take Gian Kim. She's been, she actually has, you know, a win in the UFC. So I'm going to take her. What do you think? Yeah, no. Um, yeah, usually on, on these type of fights, you almost want to be holding the underdog ticket for women's MMA, but I don't think so here. I mean, Gian Kim lost her last four fights, but I mean, she fought Priscilla Cachuera, who, you know, is a savage on the feet and knocks a lot of girls out. She was able to survive to, to decision with her. Didn't even get knocked down in the fight. Split decision against Jocelyn Edwards. So, you know, she's at least as good as, uh, as Lucy Pudilova and loses to Molly McCann via decision and Alexa Grasso via decision. She survived against Alexa Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko did not. So. Yeah, man, I think uh, Gian Kim's high level. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> but I do think she's going to be the better striker here. Yeah, Better than Valentina. That's right. She <laughs> survived. Right. Valentina did not. So um, MMA math for you. But Mandy Bohm, yeah, two losses in the UFC. He was taken down a few times by Victoria Leonardo and just, you know, hasn't looked good. Like you alluded to, hasn't won a round in the UFC. But to be fair, in her debut, they gave her Ariana Lipsky, who – is a decent fighter at least to make your debut against, but she's also getting, you know, that strike differential is, is bad. She lands 2.93 and gets hit with 4.20. And <laughs> Gian Kim is at least a decent striker who lands some good volume, nearly six per minute. She lands significant strike wise. So you look at that and I think there could be a big gap on the feet here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to rock with Gian Kim for this one, but you know, this is this is a bathroom break fight. This is when this thing comes on. You go do what you got to do before uh, before the next one gets up. I don't know, man. I might be throwing big money on uh, Gian <laughs> Kim. I'm kidding. Don't do that.